Raising children is no easy task. Being a parent requires patience, understanding, and a lot of love, but one of the most important skills to master is praising kids the right way. Praising your kid can be one of the most effective ways to show them how much you care and help them build self-confidence. Every parent wants their children to be successful, but how do you actually raise a successful child? Thus, this is a common question. Is it ethical or harmful to praise our children in one sense? On the other side, many parents are worried that lavishing their children with praise may lead to their developing into arrogant, selfish, greedy, or just weak people. It's believed that if parents don't treat their children with praise, their kids may grow up feeling neglected and undervalued, isolated, and unable to fully realize their potential. As parents, what advice do you have for us? It's all about maintaining a balance. And there's a perfect way. You see, your child will form an identity consistent with whatever you regularly praise. When you compliment your child on his attentiveness in the classroom, for instance, you're helping to reinforce his sense of self as a hardworking, responsible member of society. Your kid will be more open to trying new things and learning from his or her failures if he or she adopts this mindset. However, if you constantly compliment your child on his or her intelligence, he or she may come to believe that success is the genetic material. With that mindset, your child will want to look clever, which will lead to them taking less risk and doing less difficult activities since they don't want to make errors and come across more as dumb. Therefore, you can appreciate how significant the things we celebrate really are. When we focus on our inherent qualities, such as attractiveness and intelligence, we might create a sense of entitlement and a desire for power. There is just one rule, and it's easy to remember. Pay attention to the action, the effort, and not the outcome or the character flaw. Avoid compliments like, oh, that's lovely, and you're the greatest, and replace them with, because you've worked extremely hard, and while you've really dedicated yourself. Avoid compliments like, you must be such a bright kid, defend the claim, you really do like to learn new things, don't you? Also, try not to do it excessively. Certainly, Everyone wants and needs praise. When someone compliments us, our brains raise the levels of dopamine. The difficulty is that our brains quickly adapt, and in the future, we will require far more convincing incentives to stimulate the same, feel-good hormonal response. However, if we praise our child too often, he or she may begin to enjoy the praise more than the action and become increasingly difficult to balance. This might cause our child to lose interest in a skill at which he or she succeeds only because our praise no longer provides the same dopamine high, even if the dopamine gained from engaging in the activity would have been enough. And of course, you should be praising them, but only for their effort and avoid unnecessarily. Stay connected for more.